Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is a really neat one. Um, this is an official multi-game. Usually a lot of the multi-games you see, uh, you know, where people have hacked together or they're running a computer uh, inside of them with ROMs downloaded or something. But this is actually an official Chicago Gaming Company Arcade Legends 3 arcade game. This is a home use only uh, machine. Uh, irregardless of that coin door on the front. I'll show you that here in a second. But this thing has, uh, counting the Golden Tee stuff, it has 138 games on it. Or maybe we should say it has 100 and... There's 27 Golden Tee courses on Golden Tee Complete. So it's, it's got 111 games plus the Golden Tee Complete stuff. So I'll show you that here in a second. But this thing is really cool. Uh, new, they cost about... Uh, between three and four thousand dollars so um, and these aren't that old they came out I think they first came out arcade with Arcade Legends 3 which is what this one was uh, in 2010 and we're filming this in 2018 so at the most this is eight years old but I don't even think it's that old but we'll check it out I'll show you uh, what it's got on it and how it worked it has really cool side art if you've ever played this is kind of themed around Golden Tee. If you uh, have seen the Golden Tee dedicated cabinets, they have a similar look to this. But this one, it just has a decal that creates that golf ball look on the side. On the actual uh, original Golden Tee cabinets, they had an extra piece of uh, uh, MDF board on the side that created that. But this has that incorporated into the artwork, which they've done a very good job on. And then down at the bottom, it mentions some of the games that are included on it. And these are all the full, original versions of the game. So it's Crystal Castles, Super Breakout, which is an Atari game. Crystal Castles, an Atari game. Tempest, Atari game. Mil uh, Missile Command and Centipede. Of course, all Atari games. On the other side, check this out. It says, licensed by Tato, Taito, Potato, Potato. So it's got kicks. Now I do. I, I insist on pronouncing that kicks. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Arkanoid, Space Invaders, Jungle Hunt, Elevator Action. It's got some cool stuff in it, people. And they even uh, put a little bit of the art on the control panel. This has one of those. Let me see if I can show you how it's made. Look at that. It's this textured overlay and everything's printed on the other side of it these things wear excellent uh, as in they don't wear they always look good because the art is underneath the we'll call it polycarbonate poly it's under the poly um, and you can see they're giving you a clue of some of the stuff that's on it and then of course on this side it says licensed by Atari and then up here it has the Golden Tee artwork, and it even shows some of the Golden Tee uh, courses at the top there. Very cool. Big, nice, official size hat trackball. That's the exact trackball that was in the Golden Tee 4 cabinets. But let's look at the art on the top. This is basically just a kind of a mock-up of the same type of stuff. Got all the Atari stuff on this side, and all of the Tato stuff on that side. And they both say copyright 2010 on them. Now this is this does not just have Atari and Tato. We'll go over a couple of, other, of the other ones that are on it here in a minute. But it does have a 2010 copyright date. You can still buy these new, so I, uh, you know. This one could be like a year or two old. I don't know. It's in exceptionally nice shape. It's got one little scratch here. And it's got one little rub there. But other than that, the thing pretty much looks perfect. All right, so let's check out the O. Oh, and on the front it says Golden T4 Complete. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. And so down here on the front, it has this little coin door, right? But look, there's a little insert where you can't actually put a coin in. But you can pr still press the button, right? So I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so if you open it up, 
down at the bottom it has all of the uh, controls for the uh, monitor so you've got horizontal size, pin cushion, horizontal position, horizontal hold, vertical hold, vertical size, vertical position, contrast, and brightness. And all of those do exactly what they just said. This is a little reset switch. Uh, big shout out to our buddy Todd Tucky who did a complete video about this little switch here. You can find that on his uh, YouTube channel. We found it. Thank you, Todd. Uh, and it has this little button here, right? So that's a test button. That's how you get into the test mode. But if you look, they lined it up right behind the coin door thing, right? So if you push that, right, it takes you into the test menu. Now, isn't that cool? That's the type of stuff I really approve of. So service menu, there's a few, a few little adjustments. You can change the volume, the demo mode, the demo mode volume, exit menu timeout, game idle timeout, restore defaults. Let's exit without saving because we're not changing nothing. And then diagnostics, uh, controller tests. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if some of this stuff didn't work whenever I'm uh, filming a video? There's, I wonder why there's two like that. Maybe on, oh, maybe on the, maybe there's a cocktail version and it has two trackballs. But that's not what that looks like. I don't know why that's like that. Okay. Our video tests. different things you can set the monitor up with. We just move the cabinet so the magnetism of the earth is interacting with it a little bit. Look it up people. I only tell the truth. Overscan adjustments is basically you can adjust the video to bring the lines to make the, the display smaller or bigger. All right, so very, very cool. Now, I was going to talk about Golden Tea Complete. What makes this cabinet so special is that it has Golden Tea Complete on it, which if you don't like Golden Tea, that's fine. But if you do like Golden Tea, you probably understand that Golden Tea Complete is awesome. So way back in the day, Incredible Technologies made a ton of Golden Tea games. They started with Golden Tea, then Golden Tea 2, and then they had uh, Golden Tea 3D, and they had Golden Tea... Um, what was that first one that they did? Uh, 97, Golden T 98, Golden T 99. I have these all in the wrong order, I'm sure. Golden T 2000, Golden T Gold, Golden T Classic. I'm serious. There were like 10 different versions of the game. And then in 2000 and... Hmm, when would that have been? 2002. 2002, something like that they made the Golden Tee 4 game. And so it didn't have complete on it. It just said Golden Tee 4. Kind of like a play on 4, right? Because they had done Golden Tee 1, Golden Tee 2, Golden Tee 3D, which was a play on 3, and then Golden Tee 4. And in between, like I said, they had done all these other ones, including Golden Tee 2K, Golden Tee 99, 98, 97, Gold Classic, all that stuff but they finally got around to golden t4 and it was a completely new set of hardware and everything and so the first year there were five courses that you could play on it i believe i have that right and then uh there were five courses each year so they did they did a version in 2002 that was the original golden t4 and then they did a version in 2003 which was called golden t4 2003 and then they did golden t4 2004 and then they did Golden Tee 4, 2005. So, uh, have I got that right? 2002, 3, 4, and 5. I must be missing some. That would be... I'm missing a few there somewhere. But they, So maybe there was one in 2001 as well. I don't know. I can't remember. 
but uh, and then they did an extra which was a couple course update that they added on the 2004 and 2005 edition um, so anyway it, it came out to there are 27 different golden tea four courses and they're kind of the classic ones that everybody loved and it was the real money-making ones and after 2005 they put out what they called Golden Tee 4 Complete, which was an arcade game that had all 27 courses on it. And uh, uh, it was an update to the original Golden Tee 4 cabinets, and you could update yours to that, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was in 2000, I think late 2005, something like that, they did that. Um, and then they came out with Golden Tee Live, and everything was different. Well, that Golden Tee Complete cabinet, people love that thing. But even whenever they came out, they were all used because it was an update for the existing cabinets. So this is actually a home version only. You saw this doesn't actually take quarters. It just looks like it does. This is, a, this is only for the home. This is a home version of Golden T4 Complete, the entire thing. So that's really big. People love that, and they, they want that. So this is whenever this came out, it was a brand new version of that. So we'll go through some of the games here so you can see. Why don't we start at the beginning? So 10-yard fight. That is a Tato game. Now you can go over to the side. See how we're on all games? You can go over to the side and sort it by just Atari games, just Incredible Technologies games, just Taito Tato games. Or it actually has a favorites list too where you can put the ones that you really like. At whenever you quit the game, you can add it to the favorites or take it out of the favorites. So that if, you know, if there's only five games you like, you can put them all in the favorites. But we'll go through all of them. So it's got 10-yard fight. We actually just did a video of that not too long ago. The actual original cabinet, which we have up there in the front of our store. Can you see it from here? Look at that. It's very Christmassy looking. So we're having everybody check it out as soon as they come through the door, right? So 10-yard fight. And then 1942, which is a Capcom game, right? But it only has 1942 on it. It doesn't have 1943. Now, I believe there may be an update pack that you can put on this that adds even more games. I don't know. But um, as of right now, it has 1942. Alpine Ski, yet another Tato Taito game. <laughs> Ant Eater, which is a Stern game. I love the classic Stern games. Stern made about I don't I don't know how many, but they made a ton, and it's the same Stern that did the pinball machines. Uh, uh, Gary Stern and his father. So Stern made a ton of. Uh, games in the early 80s that were all pretty unique and none of them were like you know the greatest game ever made but they all had a unique premise and were fun and pretty cool but you know when was the last time you saw a stern ant eater all right arkanoid another uh tato game i'm just gonna say tato for the rest of the video folks if that upset you uh, oh well that's how i always said it that's the Americanized way of saying it, okay? <laughs> so, Arkanoid, very fun game. Now, of course, you can't, uh, you don't have a spinner. Wah, wah, wah. I wonder if it uses the trackball or the joystick. Let's find out. All right, so it uses the joystick or the trackball, and this first button is your fire button. So is this just the Nintendo version? Oh yeah, so you can use the trackball. That's pretty good. Hard to play with one hand. Alright, so to exit a game, you just hit the exit game button. And so this little screen pops up. You can return the game, you can exit the game, or you can add it to the favorites list on the, uh, the front like we were talking about. Now, if you're already on the favorites list, if that game's already on the favorites list, it'll say remove from favorites list. All right, so it's got Arkanoid. It also has Arkanoid 2, The Revenge of Doe, which is yet another name I'm probably mispronunciating. But, you know, more of the same. There was also a uh, Arkanoid Tournament Edition, 
but it's not on here. Guess you can't have everything, right? Armored car. Is that that's another Stern game, I think. I do believe. Now I wonder if Stern. Hmm, that's interesting. You know, Chicago Gaming Company, don't they make the cabinets for Stern? It's pinballs? Hmm, let's see if this still says that Stern still owns it. You know, they did go bankrupt. Look. 2010 Stern, used with permission. Licensed by Gary Stern and Andrea Stern. Is that his wife? I'm a, I'm a fan of the Sterns, by the way. I'm not saying anything bad about them. Yeah, so, uh, um... Okay. So I'm I'm pretty sure that um I'm pretty sure that oh there's a logo up here. Chicago Gaming Company. I may be wrong, but I think they make all of Stern's cabinets for them. So they have a working relationship there. Okay. Asteroids. Now look how they did this. Of course, this isn't a vector monitor. We're already into the A's, people. Is this gonna take all night? I might have to speed it up here a little bit. So it's it's basically just emulating a vector monitor. And you use the joystick. Mmm. I wish you, uh... It'd be, it'd be cooler if you could use just buttons. But, you know, it plays pretty good. It's probably not that hard to emulate, because they had to emulate it on every, uh... Every game system ever made had to have Asteroids on it. Okay, so we'll run through a few. Asteroids Deluxe, which was the harder version. Battle Chopper, I have never played. And we ain't gonna change that today, folks. The Battle Road, I have never even heard of. Oh, is that, um... That has another name, I believe. Maybe not. Check this out. Battle Zone. And it's a pretty damn good version of it. Look at that. I mean, they just went... They're just emulating a vector monitor, and it looks pretty good. Berserk, yet another Stern game. Does he? I guess Scary Stern still owns Berserk too. Very cool. When I said they went bankrupt earlier, uh, the pinball company did. Maybe the video game company didn't, or maybe he purchased them back. Not sure. Black Widow, yet another vector game. Color vector Atari game that they're just, you know, making work on a raster monitor. Bogey Manor. Is that a Stern game, too? Who made that? Let's see what they say. No, Million Company Limited. That may be like a new game. We don't have time, people. Bubble Bobble. Real classic. Burger Time. So I wonder if they licensed that from Bally. Is that where that came from? G Mode. So I guess uh, it said Deco, so it's the uh, the old Data East version. Ooh, missed him. They're always so smart. Like you can't you can't get cheap on these guys on Burger Time because they, they won't fall for it. Okay, uh, burning rubber. Which looks really similar to Bump and Jump. Is that the, the, the Data East version of uh, Bump and Jump? Calypso, I have never heard of. Camel Tree. That looks like a newer game to me. Maybe something they invented just for this. Kind of looks like Sonic Spinball, or Sonic, uh, what was that, Sonic game with that in it? Was it just part of uh, Sonic 3 or something? I can't remember. Caveman Ninja. Centipede with the trackball. Like it ought to be. Chack and Pop. Never got this game either. Okay, this is very cool. Look at this. Cheyenne. That's an old Exidy shooting game, but they've made it work with the trackball. 
And there's a ton of Exidy games on here, so like the, even the next one, Clay Pigeon. Um, look at that, man. It's hard to find those. They make like a multi-game where you can play them all in one cabinet. Um, but just finding just one of the Exidy games is, is pretty tough. They're, they're pretty valuable now, too. So that's really a pretty good addition to this, except you're not using a, uh, a light gun. I don't know, was the Exidy stuff a light gun, or was it just a positional thing? Cobra Command. Combat. The Combat Tribes, we did a video of that one. Very cool. That's another one I probably just mispronounced. The com the Combat Tribes or the Combat Tribes. Crack Shot, another Exidy game. Crime City. <laughs> yeah. Crossbow, yet another one. The famous crossbow. Don't shoot your friends. Crystal Castles. Really cool game. Super sweet, and it's a trackball game. Tari Classic. Look at that. Very sweet. And then Double Dragon. And Double Dragon 3. Dragon Breed. It's a Capcom game. That's a sweet game, man. We had that one time, like a kit. We never had the dedicated version. I don't even know if there is a dedicated version, but... Um, that's a really, really, really cool game. Elevator Action, the classic. Everybody's played that. One called Fax. Never even heard of it. Oh, it's a it's a trivia game. It's a play on Do You Know Your Facts. Final this is an interesting little sequence here. So this is Final Blow. Right, it's a boxing game, and then Final Fight, the Capcom classic, and then Food Fight. So they went from Final Blow to Final Fight to Food Fight. Very hard to find Food Fight on anything, too. It's not on any of the multi games or anything usually. And you know, the, the thing with it was it had a special optical joy or a special was an optical, I don't think, but a special joystick and. Uh, it doesn't on this. Frenzy, the other Stern classic, along with Berserk. Gallop. Probably very fun. Gate of Doom. Looks cool. Ghosts and Goblins, the Capcom classic. He always falls for that in the attract mode. You'd think he'd know, see that the thing was coming up under him and he'd jump out of the way, but no. All right, so there's the original Golden Tee Golf. That's what the original one looked like from way back in the day. All right? And there's what Golden Tee Golf 2 looked like. Big upgrade there, folks. Go for it, buddy. Always turn the, oh yeah, whenever they turned on the original Golden Tees, it would have to redraw the whole screen, which was very intensive, so it, it blacked everything out. And then, of course, Golden Tee Complete, which is the, the one everybody's played and seen. Gravatar, the Atari classic vector game. We've had that before. Very cool game. Great Swordsman. Oh! Hammer and Harry. Not to be confused with Wreck It Ralph. Hard Hat. <laughs> Hit and Miss. Another Exidy game. The classic Jungle Hunt. Didn't we do a video of that not too long ago? I think so. Karate Champ. I don't know how that... Oh, I guess you... It must be the one-player version and you use both joysticks. Let's see. You know, 
Yep. Wow. Very well done. I can't do it because I'm holding the the, the uh, I'm holding the camera. But on Karate Champ, if you never played it back in the day, the way it worked was you only all you had were two joysticks, and depending on like if this one goes up and this one goes down, that does one move, and so it shows at the bottom how to do all of the moves. And so there originally was a one-player version, which I guess this is what this is, and then they made a two-player version. So the dedicated cabinet had two joysticks on one side and two joysticks on the other side. But very simplistic early karate game, but really cool for the the way they use the two joysticks. Kengo, Kung Fu Master. We just did a video of that not too long ago. Oh look, they got him. Oh there he got he got away. I wonder if he can get past the second level because I can't. Legend of Hero Tanma. Never played that one either. Liberator. We uh, we got a Liberator cabinet in a while back that had been kitted and they cut it. Like the Liberator cabinet came all the way out on the sides, kind of like a Stargate does, and they cut they cut a slot in it. This is basically a backwards missile command. So you're you're shooting the bases on the earth, whereas on missile command you're protecting the bases on the earth from being shot from above. Very cool. Liquid Kids. Never played that one. Lock and Chase is a poor man's Pac-Man. We had a uh, Way back in the day, we had a friend try to sell us one of these, and we went over and looked at it, and it was just sitting in the dirt in this old building that had, you know, had weather and water in it and everything. The thing was just rotting away into the floor. We couldn't save it. <sighs> Lost Tomb. This is one of the first games we ever had. We bought a an empty cabinet from a local guy here, and it was a stern cabinet, and so um, we bought a whole bunch of stern boards because they're all wired up the same. And they had these, the stern cabinets had these cool little control panels that you could just swap really easy. Uh, and the cabinets were all the same. So you could just, you could turn one stern game into another stern game by just swapping a control panel and unplugging and plugging in a different board. So uh, we had this one, Lost Tomb. We, we, uh, we bought it off of a guy online and he mailed it to us. And it had the bezel and everything. Whenever we got it, it was this big, huge cardboard box. And the guy had just taken a glass bezel and just put it in the box caddy corner. No no bubble wrap, anything. This is the big square box and the bezel fit caddy corner and he shipped it like that through UPS. So of course, whenever we got it, it was broken a million pieces. So we had a lost tomb with the wrong bezel on it. Let's go back, it was trying to run off on us. But it's a very cool game. Lunar Lander, the famous Atari game that predated asteroids. You're trying to land on the moon. It's hard as hell. Lunar Rescue. Very old game. Magic Sword. If you've never played Magic Sword, that is a, it's a, just an awesome game. Very, very cool. Uh, that was another Capcom game. And then Major Title, which is another golf game. Mega Man, the arcade version. That game gets very little love. Millipede. With the trackball, the famous sequel to Centipede. Minefield. I believe also another Stern game. There must be like a whole package of Stern games that uh, Stern is willing to license out to people if they do a good job with it. Missile Command. It's also hard to find Missile Command on anything because you have to have the trackball. You kind of run into a problem where if you need the trackball, you, uh, you know, that kind of limits where you can't place, unless you have the trackball, you can't really play Centipede, Millipede, or Missile Command, which is why they made a, or Crystal Castles. Um which is why they made that Centipede, Millipede, Missile Command uh, remake that was in all of the movie theaters back in the day. 
Moon Patrol, which is an Irem game. It's not actually owned by Williams, so that's why it's on here, but none of the Williams ones are. Moon War. Yet, is, is, that's another Stern game, isn't it? Yep, Stern. Um, is that the one with the, the best uh, uh, video game flyer of all time? Do I have that right? Or was that Moonshot? Go check it out. Mousetrap. Which was... Uh, who did Mousetrap? Nastar Warrior. So that if, you, if you've never heard of that, it's Rastan. It's just mis it's spelled differently. It's the second one. The New Zealand Story. Tato Game. Taito game. Taito Taito. Ninja Kids. <laughs> it looks like a poor man Simpsons. Ninja Spirit. Oh man, this looks intense. Pepper 2. Pirate Pete. <laughs> yeah. Plotting. This is a fun game. It's a little puzzle game, but it's really fun. Plump Pop. Oh, this is kind of like... Uh, I was going to say it's kind of like Buster Brothers. It looks like Buster Brothers, but it doesn't. You don't shoot, obviously. Puzzle Bobble. Awesome game. And great music too. Kicks. Super fun game. Rainbow Islands, Tato game, Taito game. Rainbow Islands Extra. I guess that was just more levels. Rastan, also known as Nastar Warrior Part 1. Check this out. You never see this one. That's freaking Red Baron the Vector flying game from Atari. It's really hard to even get that original cabinet. We never see that. We've never even had one. But there it is in all its glory. Without the Vector monitor, though. Mm. Sorry, folks. Rescue. Yet another Stern game. Return of the Invaders. You know which invaders. Showdown. What are they? Sh what are you shooting on this one? Oh, you're actually using the the gun to bet and everything. Side track. Atari Space Duel, also basically two-player asteroids. Space Invaders, the original. Space Invaders Deluxe. Spectre. Speed Coin. Careful now. Careful now. Careful now. Street Fighter 2, and it's the original one. It's the World Warriors. And check this out. And explain this to me. Whenever it pops up, it says Capcom, used with permission, licensed through Conway Ho. So I don't know what that's all about. And But whenever it plays it, it, it makes the screen a little bit smaller. I don't know why they did it like that. But it plays great. Look at that, one-handed fireball, that's right. Yeah, I just did that. Super Breakout. All right, folks, this video is getting really long. Super Burger Time. Super Kicks. Targ. Tasmania, but not the one you're thinking of. Tempest, yes, that's right, it has Tempest on it. Tropical Angel. 
Tumble pot. Let's let's look at Tropical Angel again. We didn't give it enough time. Oh, she's like surfboarding, because she's a tropical angel. Tumble pop. Venture. Warlords. Atari Classic. Everybody played this on their uh, Atari 2600, right? Water ski. Yeah, I mean, that ain't no tropical angel. Who done it? Oh, with the, with the, man, these Exidy games were awesome. That's some really original stuff. World-class bowling. This was made by Incredible Technologies, the same people that made uh, Golden Tee, but then later made Silver Strike Bowling. This is before Silver Strike Bowling, and it's a great bowling game. It's really fun. You might say it's world-class. X Multiply. Got the, uh, got the uh, Gradius thing going on, it looks like. Zippy Race. And Zookeeper. What a great game that is. The, pr the thing with Zookeeper was very hard to uh, get one that's still in good enough shape to still work. The boards have uh, uh, all of these uh, ribbon cables and things on them. Kind of hard to get one going. But if you do get one going, you got something worth quite a bit of money. Or you could just emulate it like this one. So there you go, folks. That is Chicago Gaming Company's Arcade Legends 3. Very fun game. Very cool. Awesome addition to your home, especially if you want the Golden Tee stuff. Uh, it's an opportunity to get a new one that's not an old cabinet and uh, that has uh, a whole bunch of other really cool games along with it. I will tell you, if you buy one of these, you might want to double check the game list because uh, there are several variations of the games that are included so some of them don't have street fighter um there, some of the stuff is on some of them and not on others so you need to really check that out but there you go that is, oh and this is running like there's a little motherboard inside of it and a little jamma in outboard and a hard drive that has all of the games and everything the program installed on it and if you have trouble with it you can upgrade them the motherboard and all that stuff but this one's still so new that there's no problems. It's working great. And it's fun. And it looks good. So, if you're interested in one of these, you can check out our website. We probably won't have this one available too long because people love these things, especially the one with golden tea on it. A lot of bang for your buck. So we may not have it available anymore. But you can see all the stuff that we do have available on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com and check it out. It's always up to date. Now, if you want to come by and see us, we're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. We've got a whole building full of arcade games for sale. Um, we're about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're just over the border. Now, if you can't come by because you don't live anywhere near us, and you don't want to buy one because you don't have the room, well, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film this for you. <sighs> about wore myself out. <laughs> And leave your comments below. Do you have one of these? Have you played these? Do any of these games catch your fancy? Leave your comments below and we will see you on the next video. Have a good one and Merry Christmas.